Hello and welcome to a new episode of Airport CEO here on Bongo Plains where we are continuing our work on Terminal 2. In last week's episode we already managed quite a lot. We managed to add all the medium stands that we want to have at Terminal 2 both at the airport terminal itself and the five remote stands that we are planning with. We also managed to do all the taxiway system and we even started uh, working on the interior so check-in desks have been added and also baggage space and we even worked on the um, boarding uh, desks or the boarding area for the remote stands. In today's episode we will of course continue to work on the interior of the airport and of course also fix up a few things on the airfield. So eventually we will of course have to add a lot of new ground service equipment to this airport section and for that we of course also need housing basically so we need to have the vehicle depots um, I think we will add about four in this end maybe even more at a later stage but I think it will also be important to have some at the other side of the terminal building at some point um, just in an attempt to shorten the ways that some uh, of the GSE needs uh, to go to reach the uh, aircraft and the air craft stands basically um, so yeah we really I'm, I'm really trying to focus here on efficiency trying to uh, make the the roads um, the ways that equipment and people have to go as short as possible that also means that we will have to take a look at adding enough staff rooms all over the airport not like one big central one but um, every time we have a specific area to add at least one uh, staff room there so that the staff working there can just go to that room and don't have to walk for ages um, when they leave their post and then when they go back to their post. Of course we also need to take a look at Terminal 1 every now and then just to keep uh, things running over there to um, update our schedule so that we don't run out of aircraft Unfortunately, um, the developers still haven't uh, fixed the whole economy in the game. So basically, um, uh, since the last or since the major update where they introduced the multi-floor uh, update, money doesn't really count anymore in the game. Of course, it makes it easier for us because it means we can make this whole expansion in one big go because we don't need to look at the money. But um, if you followed this series from the beginning, you know that originally I intended to try to uh, make this, well, as realistic as possible, basically always looking at our finances. And that element has unfortunately, of course, completely disappeared. But that is how the game is at the moment. But I'm sure that will be fixed at some point in the future. So one thing we also need to work on other than uh, the uh, check-in area is of course the baggage retrieval area. Now I've said it before that one thing that I find a little bit strange in this game is that the, bar that the baggage retrieval is outside of the security zone. Um, at least in Europe that is not really realistic. I don't know about other places in the world maybe, well actually I haven't come across anywhere else in the world where that would be the case. Uh, unless it's been a really tiny little airport but um, yeah in the game the baggage retrieval is outside of the security zone but I still like to kind of um, exclude it a little, a little bit from the um, at least from the entrance hall because I don't think um, yeah I don't think it's it's as nice I mean not that you misunderstand me I mean I guess technically speaking yes all baggage retrieval is in a non-secure area but it's also not in a public area so basically you leave the high security area and uh, then you go to the baggage retrieval but that baggage retrieval area is normally not accessible for the people that have arrived at the airport or for people who are waiting for people to arrive. And, and that is an element that we don't really have in this game. So basically when people walk into the terminal, they could just freely walk over. If I, put, for example, put um, some 
um, some benches at the baggage retrieval area. Uh, sometimes in this game, people arrive really early, so they want to rest somewhere before they go through security. And then they would just walk over to the baggage retrieval area and sit on the benches there. And that is completely unrealistic. But we also need to take a look at this, of course, the whole baggage system. And um, I, of course, want to already now add uh, security scanners. Um, and there we have a wide choice what we can do. Now the game kind of gives us loads of options when it comes to scanners. Uh, scanners that are scanning for one individual thing. There's an automated one that scans, I guess, for everything. And there's one that I guess scans for everything but is manned. Um, you can see I've chosen the one that is manned and that just, you know, to add a little bit of action to the airport. Um, but if you know the whole baggage scanning system uh, better than me, then do feel free to let me know in the comment section below um, if there is any differences in the scanning devices or if it is actually just fine with one uh, general one. Uh, will that pick out everything? I think it does, but I'm not entirely sure. So as I also mentioned earlier, um, what will be a, a major focus point will be the staff room. So for example, here I'm making a staff room that will be really close to the uh, baggage scanner uh, where we will have a security guard and it will also be close to the baggage base. So that should be um, hopefully ideal. It should allow the workers uh, to reach their working stations and go to the uh, staff room fairly quickly. So that is something that we will have to work on throughout the entire term of the building to remember and to make sure that we always have a staff room near to these working stations. Of course, also, I will um, have all my stands upgraded with jet uh, bridges or jetways, as they call them in this game, um, except, of course, for the five remote stands. That's obvious. Um, and I think we also add um, a tunnel section for the um, road here on this side, connecting to the other side so that our uh, GEC can uh, much faster arrive to this side of the terminal because otherwise they would have to go all the way around and that would take forever. So we can really skip, uh, save a lot of time if we add a tunnel section on this side. So that is, um, yeah, I hope, I think it's a good idea. Um, and I think uh, that can save us from a lot of trouble. So yeah, I think um, that can hopefully help us out in the future operations of this air. But of course, I will also have to add some depots on this uh, side. But um, yeah, anyway, it, it should help out with some things. Well, there are so many things being built right now. Um, I am speeding up the game um, in the gameplay and in, in the recording uh, just for, well, your sake basically and my sake so we don't have to wait for all this happening so um or taking so long but um yeah there's really a lot of things i will leave the game running after uh, this recording um just so that um the workers can keep up with all the things that i'm asking them to build because at the moment they are kind of struggling Meanwhile, uh, while we're working on Terminal 2, we of course shouldn't uh, forget Terminal 1. We need to keep up with our schedule, adding some flights. Um, yeah, just so we keep that side of the airport running while we're working on the future of the airport. Um, I think, um, yeah, there's, there's actually quite a few flights now here that we can uh, put in. Still trying to um, yeah, leave a lot of space in between them, not having too many flies arriving at the same time, at least with the medium aircraft. I don't really care too much um, about the small aircraft, but for the medium aircraft, it's really important because you get so many people arriving at the same time if you um, don't try to really um, leave some space between the arrivals. What we also need to take care of is all the shops that we have over there, or shops, all the shops. I think we have three shops. But um, yeah, all contracts seem to have run out. So we need to renew those. Um, in theory, it would make us a little bit of money. Of course, we know, oh, four shops. We have four shops. Um, in reality, um, at the moment, at least in the game, it doesn't really matter because, um, as I said, money is broken. But um, yeah, it uh, it's important to keep uh, Terminal 1 running. And it seems like it runs quite smoothly. Um, we don't have long queues at security um, of course in the future we could um, add more security checks if needed 
Um, but yeah, Terminal 1 seems to be running quite well, so we can go back to Terminal 2 and continue our work over here. Um, and I think uh, what we should take a look at is the baggage system. Um, we need to start adding some baggage belts. I will wait with the underground part of that, but at least the overground part we can start on uh, working with. Um, because we need to connect up all these um, check-in desks. Um, so that is, uh, <laughs> well, I mean, it's not a lot of work. It's just a lot of uh, short uh, baggage uh, belts that we need to connect up. Um, and after that, I think um, speeding up the gameplay here a little bit. Um, and as always, we should also not forget to um, add a uh, staff room because we will have a lot of uh, workers at our check-in desk, so that will be important that there will be some staff rooms around. I think we will make one here at this side of the terminal, and I think at a later gameplay, I might have to add another one at least um, a little bit further um, uh, at the far end of the terminal building. Um, might even have a third one somewhere in the middle, but um, I will see if that is really necessary. But yeah, this staff room is quite a big one, so trying to make it um, <laughs> a little bit cozy for the workers, giving them enough uh, desks where they can work on, but also giving them some, uh, some sofas. Um, we can maybe also add some tables and some plants just to shine it up a little bit. Uh, yeah, so, so that our workers can really feel at home here when they are working uh, long, long, long days uh, for not too much money, I would assume. Um, I can't imagine that um, we are paying them a lot. I think after that, we should also start working on our first toilet for the building. It will not be the um, last one in the building, but I think it's the first time that I actually end up splitting it up um, with the male and female toilets. I think normally I just make it unisex because I can't be bothered. Uh, but maybe, maybe we should um, try to do that throughout the entire terminal here. At least it would be something new that we haven't really done before. So we are slowly getting to the end of this episode. Um, it's I know it's a little bit shorter than maybe usual, um, but uh, for time reasons, I was uh, uh, it was necessary for me to record the gameplay and then record the voiceover at a later time. Um, I know it's not really interesting for you guys, but it just means that the episode is a little bit shorter. Hopefully next time I can again make a live commentary at gameplay. Uh, that way it's easier for me also to make it a 30 minute episode. On the other hand, of course, we do manage to get much more done in these episodes where I pre-record the gameplay. Um, so I guess everything has its plus and its uh, negative side. Anyway, um... I think one last thing that we uh, will do before the episode ends is uh, try to fix a little bug that we still have that every time you add jet bridges it punches a hole into your walls at ground level and I really don't like that so we will fix that up. Um, and uh, while I'm doing that, I'd like to say thank you so much for watching uh, today's episode. If you have enjoyed this video, then uh, don't forget to smash the like button. It really helps us out. If you're new around here, why not hit subscribe? That would be absolutely awesome. That way you won't miss out on any future videos here on the channel. With that, I'd like to say thank you so much for watching. Hope to see you soon again. I'm checking out and bye.